Hey, what's good, you guys? It's time for another one of my micro trend guides. This season, my favorite trend, hands down, has been leather so far. I've been getting some new leather pants, leather jackets, leather outerwear, all a whole bunch of stuff to try out, and I'm really excited just about all the ways that you can rock it this season. So I wanted to do a quick trend guide video just to show you a few different ways that you can look at leather, ways that you can think outside of the box with your styling. Um, also, just to show you some different leather finishes and also some different colors to look out for as you're shopping in the store. And by now you guys know the deal. I put a bunch of different looks together so that you can actually see the tips come to life on a living, breathing human. Um, but as always, use them as inspiration. Use those tips as inspiration to fit you and your style and your wardrobe, your frame, whatever. Because obviously you may not be my height or my size or whatever. So it's always about you. Make it work for you. Do your thing. With that said, before we jump into it, I just wanted to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe. As always, you guys know the deal. If there's something that you want to see, um, yeah, that's a good point. If there's something that you want to see, let me know because I actually did the first one of these trend guide videos because someone in the comments asked me to do one on corduroy. So I did that. So if there are other tips or trends or whatever that you want to see trend guides for, let me know and I will work on making it happen. With that said, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into it. Let's start with some layering tricks. Now first up, the long sleeve leather overshirt. You want to think of these like a super flannel. They're a great and stylish staple to keep in your wardrobe this time of year, and they probably won't be too hard to find if there's a Zara anywhere near you. The leather material, whether it's real or faux, makes it stylish enough to wear for classier or casual occasions, when you style it the right way. I got a little creative here and I tried it on over a hoodie for a kind of unique take on relaxed layering. This shirt's a size large, but thankfully it fit pretty nicely. And if you're lucky, you can probably find some really great color options too. I love this burnt orange tone that I'm wearing here. It's the perfect color for the fall season, but obviously it works well into winter too. I also caught this beautiful burgundy short sleeve style a few years ago, and it's been a great addition to my wardrobe ever since. This one leads me back to some of the earlier points I made. You can play around with some great layering options. So here I have it open and a little bit more laid back with a mock neck underneath, but I also buttoned it up for a dressier approach to show you how it can be worn for nicer occasions too. Also going back to the layering idea for a sec, it works really nice as an underlayer of sorts when you throw it on under a blazer or you wear it with a suit. I love this monochrome look that I was able to play with here. So as you look out for key leather pieces to add to your closet, think about the colors that you love to wear this time of year and try to stay within that color family. But also keep in mind, being realistic, black leather is always a safe bet and it'll probably be the easiest to find. Now you've seen two matte leather finishes so far, but don't be afraid to shine a little bit. Patent leather gives you all the same advantages I described earlier, but with a little more statement making power. If it feels like too much, keep the other pieces in your look simple to balance things out. I also want to talk through some leather accessories in this video, so I'll start with your man bags. Now a lot of guys are already rocking the fanny packs or harness bags, but a leather style is a good investment. I was obsessed with Dior saddle bags when they first got reintroduced, but the one I wanted was sold out so I got this crossbody, which is a bit more every day. But there are also other styles, like this harness bag from Prada, and this super sized tote from ASOS. No matter which style fits your wardrobe best, going for the leather approach is a good idea. Let's switch halves and drop down to pants. I found some great leather bottoms in the past few months. One from Zara, the other from ASOS. Personally, I prefer mine a little looser given the thicker material. I mean, wearing skin tight or slim jeans that heavy doesn't sound fun if you ask me. This burgundy option had me sold instantly. It's such a unique piece to add to your closet. And the other pair I got is a nice goldenrod shade, so I'm loving the colors right now. I played around with this look just a little bit. This next pair is one of my all-time favorite pieces in my closet. They're from weekday, I got them like four years ago, so obviously they're sold out, but it goes to show you how good of an investment piece they are. They fit and look brand new still, and so many people always ask about them. All right, back to accessories. Leather shoes are next, and there are a ton of options. And I guess that's kind of obvious since most shoes have some sort of leather, but think about the finish and the style. So a good pair of mock toe boots like these Red Wings, or these Chelsea's I'm wearing here with the steel toe, and even back with loafers or solid colored black sneakers. Just make sure they're smooth. Now one of my favorite purchases over the past few months is this black leather blazer from Zara. It's so chic, I love it. <laughs> it's a great piece on its own and is sure to earn you some much deserved style points. But for me, the thing I love the most is that they match perfectly with those black weekday pants I showed you. It's like having my own leather suit, which I can't believe I never stopped and thought to find sooner. Now, I know, I know, that may be too much for some of you guys, which is no problem. It works great with jeans or other bottoms too. 
So check out these coated denim jeans from G-Star. They're a great alternative for leather pants if the styles I showed you before just aren't your thing. And you can also get an idea for how the blazer works in general with other pants here. If you prefer slimmer jeans or pants, or you just want to give leather pants a try without diving all the way in, which I totally get, these are probably a smart option for you. Next accessory, hats. I've seen leather baseball caps, beanies, and styles like this beret, which happens to be one of my favorite hats. So remember to keep your eyes open for an option that fits your style best. It can really help pull your leather outfit together in the perfect way. All right, we're almost through. Let's look at outerwear. Looking through my closet, my coat collection is where I learned the most about leather. There's so many different finishes and unique approaches that designers use to make this fabric look amazing. I love this mixed texture western jacket from ASOS. It's got some really nice new buck suede stitched alongside your standard smooth leather, and the different colors make it a great piece. Don't be afraid to mix things up. Next, your biker jacket, which is a go-to leather must-have. I mean, every guy needs one, right? Allow me to introduce you to mine. It's perfectly distressed, and I love how they contrast the edges in the seam. It makes this ASOS jacket feel like something totally high fashion, if you ask me. Plus, it gives you that perfect touch of toughness, even if you edge it up and make it a little bit more fashion forward. <laughs> I feel like Marlon Brando here. <laughs> Keep in mind that the Sherling coat is a leather creation of pure perfection. <laughs> There's so many different styles to find and fall in love with, and I saw this one a few years ago, and man, it's been one of my favorite jackets ever since. Similar to the biker before, they use some of the wool to make the seams contrast, and it's such a unique piece. The body is a nice texture suede, by the way. Between this one and the last, my point is to find pieces that get you excited and that you'll still love years later. Both of these coats are at least three years old, I think. I got this puffer from Tumi last year and I thought it was definitely worth showing you guys. I mean, you don't see leather puffers all that often. Plus, this one works perfectly with my weekday jeans, so you know I love it. Unlike the other styles, this one's all smooth leather and is much thicker. That's probably because the first three all came from ASOS, so they're likely faux. But hey, a nice design is a nice design. If it's vegan leather, that's just a bonus. Alright, I got one more coat to show you. This big bad boy, also from ASOS. The texture reminds me of the shearling I showed you earlier. It's like a rougher suede. Sorry, I, I wish I was a little bit better at labeling grain types, but I'm not. So this part is also shearling styled, as you can see, and it's one of my favorite coats for heading out into the snow. There are tons of textures, silhouettes, and ways to play with when you're searching for a coat, so cop the pieces that jump out at you and remember to think long term. These coats will probably last you for the long haul, so make sure you love them. Alright, one last accessory for you guys. Gloves. They're trending this season specifically, but they're a chic way to add some extra style points to your look year after year. I recommend thin and fitted options like driving gloves, but keep in mind they won't do much against the cold. They just look good. Okay, those are 8 tips to help you add a little leather to your wardrobe in the months ahead. If you have any questions, suggestions for other trends to break down, or a few leather tips that I may have forgotten about, you know the deal, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, first of all, thank you. And secondly, remember to like and subscribe to see more. Alright, that's all from me. See you on the next one.